Hello, I welcome you all. The problem reads are determining the resultant couple moment acting on the pipe assembly. Okay, so what do we do? Of course, we are going to do this. We'll map this particular, we have this a moment, okay, in space. This one, we have it on the XY plane and this one on the z axis so we need to map this one in space on the x y so that we can later on divide it into two components so map it here uh, on this plane let me get a thicker line like so Okay. Like so. And um, this um, so we do have this one here. Let me use another color. Okay, there we go. Alright. So, this one here, um, let me define this slope. Let's define this slope. So, this slope, um, let me define this slope so we do have something like this here for this slope um we have this like so and then like so and then like so okay there we go um so this is our 3.5 and this one here is um, this length here is root of 8 so this distance from there to there is a uh, root of 8 that's 2 squared plus 2 squared right so then once we have that, you can find the other one there. So this just becomes 3.5 squared plus uh, 8. Okay. So root of that. So this one just becomes a 4.5. Great. So now, of course, this one here is a... Uh, uh, a moment vector so I'll need to show it just like that so this just becomes 415 by this is 450 by uh, root of 8 divided by 4.5 okay mm -hmm. then we'll have another component up in this direction we have another component which is 450 by 3.5 divided by 4.5 then we'll have two more components for this Partition this into two components. We have one component like so, and another one like so. And this one is just equal to 415 by. Um, 450 by 
this is root of 8 this is 2 2 so this one just becomes 2 divided by root of 8 okay sorry this is 450 by root of 8 divided by 4.5 and then times root of uh, times 2 divided by root of 8 okay and we have also this side 415 uh, root of 8 divided by root of 5 by 2 divided by root of 8 so this and this cancels then we only have 450 uh, 2 divided by 4.5 and the same applies to this this is just 450 2 divided by 4.5 once we have this information then we can simply sum up all these moments uh, we do have another one here that we just didn't indicate this one in this direction like so okay and also this one in this direction like so all right and then this distance here uh, this distance here just becomes um, this distance here let me write it down so this distance here this one from there to there this one just becomes plus 2 squared plus 1.5 squared square root of that so this one is a 2.5 therefore this just becomes 300 times uh, along the, uh, the y-axis which is just 2 divided by 2.5 and this one becomes 300 by uh, 1.5 divided by 2.5 right then we have the result and couple moment uh, and clockwise being our reference this is equal to um, this one is equal to uh, where is the positive x down here so we have 300 by 1.5 divided by 2.5 i positive and we do also have a negative which is 450 by 2 like so i then um, we go to the y so plus we do have a positive 450 2 divided by 4.5 j okay and then we do have a negative that's 300 2 divided by 2.5 j okay and we do have the z the positive one we have 450 3.5 divided by 4.5 k and then we do have the negative one which is just 250 k okay so let's sum everything up let's sum everything up without at moment like so and this is a vector like so uh, the resultant and then we'll find the magnitude 
All right, so what do we have? So we have 300 by 1.5 divided by 2.5 minus 450 by 2 divided by 4.5. So this gives us a minus 20i. Okay, so we have 450 by 2 divided by 0.45 minus 300 by 2 divided by 2.5. So this one is minus 40j. 450 by 3.5 divided by 4.5 minus 250. So this one is a plus 100k. Okay, so this is pounds feet, right? So the magnitude, MR, just MR, the magnitude of this, you take the square root. So 20 squared plus 40 squared plus 100 squared, square root of that. So um, so this gives us 109. Point five four. Right. Remember how to take the magnitude. Okay. So we take each component x squared, y squared, and z squared. This is what we're doing here. Okay. All right. So twenty squared, forty squared, hundred squared. 109.54 uh, pounds feet okay um, right pounds feet all right there we go so uh, this is the final solution uh, this is the final solution for this particular problem and i hope this particular video was helpful and if it was uh, give me a thumbs up like my video continue subscribing and uh, sharing my channel bye bye and i uh, see you in my next uh, screencast